Hello mortgage coaches, this is Jacob with support. Today's discussion is going to be about how to create the cost of waiting analysis. The cost of waiting analysis is actually a total cost analysis that you can create for your clients, partners, or even as a marketing presentation to show the effects of buying now versus waiting and potentially finding an impact on the purchase price or the rate going forward. This is a great presentation for helping to get with, get someone off the fence, so you should learn how to do these, be very effective with them, and feel free to send them out to your prospects. So let's take a look at how this is done. To begin with, you're going to select New Client. Now as I said, you can make this for an individual, which would show the first and last name, and any property information you enter over in the contact area, or you can make it a marketing presentation. This hides the first and last name and replaces it with a report headline. It also restricts the contact information from being shown on the presentation itself. So I'll just call this one the cost of waiting to buy. Now if you do have a realtor partner that you're working with and you'd like them to be notified anytime this presentation is being viewed, you can enter their email in this box right here and when you get to the end of the presentation you'll be given a checkbox that you can check to notify your partner. Now friendly name, I like to use this to indicate where I put this out. So for instance, posted on my website. The reason for that is so I can kind of get a gauge on the traction I'm getting from this presentation. Now as you go forward, you're going to select purchase a new home because this is going to be a purchase transaction. Then you're going to indicate the purchase price that you're looking at. So let's say $300,000. Now you'll notice I'm skipping a lot of fields as I go through here because a lot of this data is actually relevant to a specific borrower. For a marketing presentation, you won't need a lot of it. So we're really just going to dive straight into the product comparisons. When you get over to your first product, this is going to be your buy now option. And for this case study, I'm going to be showing you an FHA loan. So in order to do that, I'm going to select FHA as my type of premium. I'll put in my purchase price, put in my down payment, and the interest rate I can get them today. Then I'll go ahead and put in my term. Remember to enter this in the form of months, and I'm going to continue forward. Now at this point, I need to select a closing cost template, or I can enter ballpark fees right here. For best accuracy, I like to use a closing cost template. So we'll hit apply from template, choose one of the ones you have, and there's my FHA purchase. Make any modifications to the fees that you see fit, then hit apply to loan. Now we need to indicate the upfront MIP percentage. So we'll put in our 1.75, and we'll tag it so it finances it into the loan amount. In the final screen, we want to represent our hazard insurance and taxes. So I'll put those in. And then we need to make sure and account for our mortgage insurance. On a high LTV FHA loan like this one, our factor is currently 0.85. You'll notice that Edge knows this is an FHA loan, so it automatically ticks the box for you to recalculate the mortgage insurance every year based on the last 12 months outstanding balance. The last thing you'll need to do is make sure and enter your reserves. Now we finished our first product, now it's time to actually create the comparative products. So we'll hit add another product. Now this is where it gets a lot easier. You're going to be using the copy button going forward because you don't want to have to redo all your work. But in this case, this is going to be called wait for drop. This is a scenario in which your borrower told you, you know what, I want to wait for a price drop and see if I can get a better price on this. But you know, being an originator, exactly how volatile the market can be, and you know that rates can go up when they're waiting. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to copy our Buy Now presentation using that Copy From button. And then we're going to make some minor modifications. Let's assume they waited for the drop, and they actually did get a price drop. So I've reduced that price by $10,000. Now in that same time period where they were waiting for the price drop, rates could potentially go up significantly. So I'm going to change this to 4.5. Because I used the copy button, all of my fees are already in there, my MIP is already accounted for, everything down to my hazard insurance, taxes, and mortgage insurance, and reserves are already in there. So I can now move along to the next product. Now in this one, it's going to be, they told you they wanted to wait for a drop, and there was no price drop. And in that time they waited, rates went up. Again, we're going to use the copy button. We'll copy the buy now. And then we're going to keep the same purchase price because the drop didn't happen, but the rate went up. We're done with this product. And now we can continue to our fourth product. Our fourth product is going to be a worst case scenario. Now in this scenario, they waited for the price drop, but rather than dropping, the price went up. And in that time they waited, rates went up as well. So we're going to use the copy button again. We'll copy the buy now. 
I'm going to increase the purchase price and I'm also going to increase the rate. Copy button took care of everything for me so I can zip through here and go straight to my analysis screen. Now you can see if you do this correctly you're going to get this cascading effect on savings and you can see the buy now option saves $156 as compared to the worst case option where they waited too long price and rates went up. Now there's two ways you can look at this. This is showing a savings but you can change your benchmark to show the cost. So what you do is these two drop downs here determine what the benchmarks are for the monthly savings and the short term savings. Instead of choosing the highest for the default I'm going to benchmark it against the buy now option and you can see now I'm showing the cost. If I wait for the drop it could cost me $16 more. If I don't get the drop it's going to cost me $86 more. The worst case would cost me $156 more. Same thing can be done for the short term area so I'll go ahead and do the same and then we can continue forward. We can bypass contact information because this is not going to show on the presentation since we made it a marketing and then all we need to do is indicate our payment notes. In this case taxes and insurance are included in the payment I used so I want to make sure to make that modification. Now we can go straight to the end of the wizard and prepare our link. We'll set a quote date then hit generate link. Now at this point this link is ready to be sent out. You can copy this, paste it into an email or text it to your client and they're going to get a copy of this. Now I would highly encourage that anytime you send one of these out, especially as a marketing report, that you put a video on there. Now you can do this from your mobile device or you can do it from here within Edge. To do that simply hit add audio video. You'll be given a preview of the presentation and you'll see a record message button that will appear down at the bottom. When you hit that, it's going to trigger your webcam. All you have to do is hit record, start recording, and then once you stop, it's automatically appended to your link. Now, some items to consider on this. I've shown you four different options for what the potential is for this cost of waiting. You can show all or as few as you'd like. If I wanted to go back in and change this presentation so it just shows the buy now versus a worst case, I would simply go back into Edge, go to the first screen of the presentation button here, and then I can uncheck the products I don't want to show. Edge links are dynamic, so as soon as you hit a right or left arrow inside Edge, it's automatically going to trigger a save for you. Now that means that your new model, the same link that you had open before, now only has two products on it. So get out there, get this out to your realtor partners, get this out to your borrowers that may be on the fence. It's a great way to show them the impact of waiting too long, especially in a volatile market. Let us know in support. If you have any questions, you can always email us at support at mortgagecoach.com. Even if you'd like a review on your proposal, send it over to us. We'd be happy to take a look. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.